my dearest friends welcome to my channel i'm kaya zingnamari from heart to heart an intuitive channel and much more thank you for listening i'm back with the reading for the new moon in aquarius on the 11th or 12th of february depending on your time zone This is a very special new moon, the first new moon in 2021. And we have five other planets in Aquarius as well. The Sun, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn and Mercury still in retrograde. So <laughs> really a kind of the Aquarian invasion to change a lot. This constellation has taken place for the last time in February 1962. There's a beautiful post by Astra Mama on Facebook. She is going deeper in this. And then it was the beginning of the hippie movement, the love and peace revolution. The energies of this new moon will unfold in the next two weeks until the full moon in Virgo taking place on the 27th of February. I will announce um, two really um, exciting events. <laughs> Maybe you have participated on the, the free oracle card and numerology reading I did with Antoinette Thompson, my beloved soul sister from To Become One, in January for the uh, general energies of 2021. And we have enjoyed this event so much that we have decided to do free readings like this every month now and we will do our next free numerology oracle color and whatever come up reading on the valentine's day on the 14th of february on facebook um, you will find the link to my facebook page in the description box and then you can can see the event there And we will do another totally new uh, kind of workshop. I haven't yet found the name. Gathering is coming up for me. Um, a group event on Zoom, a closed group uh, with maximal eight participants on the 21th of February, Sunday as well. And it's a bit uh, like... Antoinette is in Australia and I'm in France, so we have time zone things, times to find out. So for, for the Australians, it will be in the evening, for the Europeans in the morning. You will find all the um, informations on Facebook. The second event is not yet on Facebook, but will be soon. It will be a closed group around the um, topic of relationships and we will come together to to dive deeper in your questions find tools that can help you and us to make new experiences what is a big topic topic of this this um, new moon and And as I feel the next time, it is it's a really Aquarian topic. So, and as it is our first gathering, I, I use this name now, we will make it on, on a donation basis. So have a look and, and contact me if you're interested to save your space. I think this will be a beautiful event. So... For me, a lot is going on at the moment and I feel very emotional since yesterday I cried also and it's, it's a beautiful kind of being emotional. I, I feel open in a way 
bit fragile and and vulnerable as well and it is it feels like like something in me is really opening up to release to release what not any longer serves me as also opening up to be open to receive these new energies and and all the beauty coming into our lives I will read you the informations now and you will see the painting I did while I was channeling these informations. And it was once more an interesting process as, as the process of the painting is really part of the reading you will listen to. So the topics of this new moon are for me opening up to our natural childlike innocence and allowing us to make new experiences. I got the information to choose a canvas I painted once and overpainted with a new moon painting. The former painting was a try. I had something in my head, a vision, and I didn't work out what I would wanted to create. So I kept this canvas with the idea already to overpaint it one day. The information coming with this is that this painting was created out of my mind, a concept I had in my head. Like a lot of our function mode, our life, how we do, comes until now out of our heads, out of concepts built over years and years, cycles, more kind of a survival mode, not living, more functioning. We are in the midst of overwriting this mode, of making new experiences as we start to try different, act different, <clears throat> more and more, we overwrite our old experiences. And we are already in the midst of the energy of this new moon in Aquarius. The Revoluza, out of the heart, the inventor of new forms. The curious and very creative adventurer who wants the best for humanity. I painted two layers of white over the old painting and it is still visible. I am curious if there will be traces in the new painting when it is finished. You will see the base of this artwork now in the video. I should start to paint with a heart and a lot of glimmer and glitter. Even when this new moon is defined through the absence of light, it will shine and glimmer in the dark of the night reflecting all tiny rays of light and multiple them. Just by painting the heart, I feel already a new quality. As this is not a raw canvas, the surface is much smoother. The brush is gliding over the surface, much less resistant than I am used to when I do these paintings. This new moon opens us to our own curiosity, our wish to make new experiences and also a courage, a boldness to create new experiences for us, to step out of our comfort zones with much less resistance inside us as we are used until now. The wish to make new experiences, the longing to live instead of just surviving, is so much bigger as our fear in the meantime. So, use the invitation of this moon to try something new. Take your fear by the hand and follow your excitement, your willingness to create the new from inside out. Feel the love for yourself and life itself. Feel the bubbling in your belly, your cells, the Aquarian curiosity and openness. A lot of courage and faith as well. 
The pure Aquarian energy is not judging as there is no right or wrong for this energy, just experiences. No try and error, just experiences. You might feel that you are more open to take a risk, to try something new. And it is not about the risk, but about curiosity. This energy will bring you in contact with this childlike innocence in you that is your true nature, that goes out in the world to explore, to see, to feel with all the senses what the world has to give, what the world is, as if you haven't seen it until now. Wow. It is so interesting that the colors are behaving very different on this prepared canvas and underground. My hands want to do it like they know, like they do always, and it isn't functioning like always. I have to adapt. It wakes me up as well to be present in a new way. I become conscious that to paint this new moon isn't like I paint always. I have to adapt to be open. How it is going on this ground. How it will be created. How the brush and the colors are interacting. Out of my control. On this different underground. It is interesting. I feel a slight insecurity as well. And an opening. What else? I have already started to paint. The heart and the moon are finished. So I will see and feel how the rest will unfold. That's who we are as a collective at the moment as well, worldwide. Most of the humans have understand that we will not go back to what we thought was normal. Now we have in front of us uh, uncertainty like walking on a ground that is so different from the ground we have walked and lived on until now it is smoother it might feel slippery it asks us to set our feet in front of us with full presence with a knowing that we are stepping into the unknown that we need courage and a lot of curiosity as well These are two very natural qualities of us as human beings. Look at a child that learns to walk. It doesn't think about. It is learning something completely new for its whole system. It experiences the strengths and also the capacity and possibilities of its legs totally new. It makes experiences it has never had before. It gets up, it makes a step, it falls down, it gets up again. There's no failure, falling down is a natural part of this process and an important one of the process of learning to walk. As this falling down is not stopping the kid, it's like grounding before the next time getting up and making steps. It is part of the process and the experience. That's what we can learn now while we do our steps into the unknown on every level. We might fall down, fail or fall back in our old kind of being. What is perfect as it is, just a natural part of the process to feel comfortable in the new. The child that has learned to walk doesn't think, doesn't feel any longer that making the first steps has felt like a miracle. This miracle has become normal. We are not yet there that the new is normal. We are in the stage of learning on all levels how it can be and feel to be aligned and to alive instead of being in survival mode. I was asked to start the soundtrack of the musical Hair, as this represents the spirit of Aquarius so perfect. I haven't heard this music for a long time. 
It had its premiere 1967 on Broadway and played in 1965. It has the spirit of the star constellation we experience at the moment. My parents were very active in the student movement of these years, fighting for another system more open and free. There was such a spirit of liberation in these times to make it different as their parents, the past war generation. And they changed already a lot. They already prepared what we will create now. There was a huge expansion of consciousness taking place and also the building of new rules and concepts out of this revolutionary spirit. Nevertheless, rules created in the mind. And that's what is so absolutely new now. That is what we never have experienced before. That is just and only about following our hearts and our souls in alignment with unity with all life. The revolution we are in the midst at the moment is not against something. This is a revolution for love, for a life in alignment, respect, honesty and unity, based on love, as there is no bigger force. I had to paint the background in silver gold and rose gold, showing the wealth and abundance all the time here for us as well the female and male energies coming more and more in balance at the moment. It is interesting, as the female parts and us are asked to go inwards, to unfold, to take care of itself, and we as women stop more and more to heal, coach and rescue the male, the man, the man as well as the male energies inside us gets a space as well the feeling of urgency to come back on their natural places, in their natural state, strength and energy, take care of themselves. It is needed that the feminine part is stepping back for the male part to take care of itself. I have the feeling I jump from one topic to the next one, mirroring of my life, as it feels at the moment. There's so much coming up at the moment. I still work with my co-wounds and in the meantime there's nearly every day a new thing popping up to process intense, fast and when I bring it on one point at the end it is all about self-love, self-worth and self-care. The relationship with ourselves mirrored in every relationship we have on the outside. Relationships and love in all forms are one of the main topics in February. And this new moon will highlight what we can learn in this part of our lives as well, what we can make different, how we can be more honest with ourselves as also with the other one in our relationships, romantic as also family and friends. A new territory for the most of us, as exciting as also frightening. What means as well to show up much more vulnerable than we are used to. What means to really show ourselves, to give ourselves the gift to be seen. Something we are so longing for since long time deeply frightening and amazing beautiful. I had a beautiful experience by myself. I did this free interactive 2021 event with Antoinette Thompson from To Become One in January. Born out of a spontaneous idea, the whole process of creating this event was in total flow, easy and felt very aligned. We both enjoyed the whole experiment so much and decided to make this once per month now. 
and go also one step further to create this interactive group gathering via Zoom with a closed group to dive deeper in. We will do on the 21s for the first time. And in the creation of these events, my head stepped in, my mind, my ego and fear. A realization that I start to create and do something I never have done before. And well, I became complicated in myself. And to go in contact, to share what's going on in me is new for me. And I had a really beautiful exchange with Antoinette, strengthening our friendship and the trust in each other and in myself. A beautiful step in our friendship is also for our further collaboration. I was triggered in another friendship by getting an unexpected gift which showed me my difficulty to receive. I felt such a pull to react as I am used to react, saying nothing, pretending that all is well, being nice and uncomplicated. There was a fight in myself between one voice telling me don't make a drama out of it and another one telling me to be honest as this friendship is precious to me. I followed the second voice my heart beating and shared what this gift has brought up in me. It was not easy to talk about what was going on in me and absolutely worth it. These are big steps for us, being so used to be people pleaser, to make it on the first sight comfortable for us and the other person. And what is happening at the same time, we place a lie or something unspoken <clears throat> between the other one and ourselves. <clears throat> and when we go on like this, we build up a wall of lies. And the day will arrive, we can't any longer see the other one, as he or she is just this wall of lies and unspoken words and truths between us. And the feeling of resentment toward the other one is coming up. Not realizing that all this is our own creation. A wonderful way to ruin a relationship. February is a big relationship month and this new moon is encouraging us to step into new territory in all our relationships, being as honest as we can be, maybe having a look if there are walls of unspoken words between us and another one, starting to unbuild these walls by speaking our truth from our heart. And I know very well that it is not at all easy when we are not used to do so and it is so worth it. I haven't yet any bad experiences when I show up really vulnerable and honest. Even when my head wants me to convince that this is the most dangerous thing I can do. And for sure I talk here not about showing up vulnerable towards past person we now can't handle it as he or she is far too wounded and in protection mode to be open. Even then it might open something new. You will know and feel when the risk is worth it. I am now asked to bring the colors in around the moon in contrast to the background as this contrast brings both colors to shine. Good advice for relationships as well. Let each other shine in her his diversity and contrasts. Aquarius love set. I finished the painting. The former painting, the base of this new one is not any longer visible. It has vanished completely under the new one. And the whole experience of painting was different 
than I know it when I paint on a pristine canvas. What was before on the canvas influenced the whole process of creating the new. So the message for me in this is that all what we have experienced until now, the difficulties as also the beautiful experiences have shaped us, have prepared us for the new to come, to create, to be. The new, what is in the essence our true nature. As all sources some, some of our experiences until now, in this and all former lifetimes. You are whole with all what you are, whole, perfect and a master, king, queen, or however you would call yourself gorgeous human being. These were the informations I got while I was painting. And there's so much beauty in this. There's so much beauty awaiting us. And we are really asked to follow this curiosity we all have in us to rediscover this childlike innocence that goes out in the world with open eyes expecting nothing and in this way of not expecting anything we can just experience miracles <laughs> nothing else is possible I leave you with this. I would love to see you on one or the two of our upcoming events. I have with, I make with, I create in a really beautiful co-creation with Antona Thompson. This is really touching me, what we, how we create at the moment on, on a totally other level than I ever have created in such a synchronicity and, and mutual respect, joy, exchange. Simply this is such a learning experience and that, that we create events, something I have never done before and this is obviously my next step on the way in this unknown uncertainty. I, I don't know anything. I have no images I have no visions how this year will unfold for me. And it is deeply frightening. It is exciting. It is something I just can relax in and relax in and feel, feel the fear as well in the uh, my head running crazy. I don't know if you can relate to this. I leave you with this. I thank you for being here, following me, following my channel, being open for these beautiful messages coming through me to be shared. I love you. Bye. Kaya.